Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I upscale videos from lower resolution to higher resolution using artificial intelligence. Alright, let's get right into it. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have came across this same scenario where we all have different videos and one of them is just a different resolution and what is it that we end up doing? Just pretty much just upscaling it. So if it's a comp that you're doing 4K and you have a 1080 video, you just upscale it by 200. But that doesn't really actually make it 4k so if this video is 1080 you can see here it's 1080 by 1920 so we made this a 4k but it's still not it's not truly 4k all it's doing is just stretching the pixels and it's not really a good clear quality i have this plugin where it just automatically upscales the the video the name of the plugin is called Scale Up. And that's all it really does. It just scales up every video. So if we have this 1080 and we want to make it 4K to fit the this comp, all I'm going to do is fit the comp width or height. Either one will or just choose the the resolution you're trying to achieve. Okay, so we're gonna fit the width. Okay, so once you fit to width, it'll automatically stretch the video to to meet the comp settings. And as if you're not able to notice, it does look a lot clearer. And this is using some type of artificial intelligence to upscale everything to and add extra pixels. And all we're gonna do really is just denoise it. To remove some of this noise and I'm using After Effects because for some reason it's a little faster and we're gonna sharpen it a little bit to add some more details so right away you can see it's a lot sharper and a little bit more clear than how it was before versus upscaling it by hand and I'm gonna show you a comparison here I'm going to turn the effect off and on so you can see the difference. Very subtle, but you could just see it looks less blurry and a little bit more clear. Some of these lines here on this girl look a little bit straighter and sharper. Some of these letters here look a little bit clearer. It just took the blurriness away and made a, everything a little bit more clear. Here we have this guy and same thing. We're going to scale up. And right away it's a little bit more clear, less blurry. Some of this texture is a little bit more clearer than before. But if you reduce the noise and sharpen it a little bit more, it'll come more detailed. And that's pretty much everything you do to all these videos. Just reduce the noise and sharpen it and that's it. Okay, so once you apply the scale up and just move these two sliders, you will pretty much get better qualities than upscaling it by hand. This one is upscale by the plugin scale up. So I'm going to turn the layer off so you can see the original one. High looks. 
And it's just a very subtle effect. Where his skin just looks a little bit more clear. Such as the lips and the face. This one also helped a lot. If you notice some of the details on the back. They're way, way better. This is the original. Just looks a bit blurry. This is with the scale up. This looks a little bit more clean. Off. On. And you can see the difference. It just looks less blurry. On this one here, you can see some of these details. Such as this here. This is the original one. This looks blurry. And this is when you scale up. This looks a lot cleaner. You can actually see some of these numbers. The windows, all the lines look sharp. Everything just looks very clean. And that's just applying the scale up. Just, that's it. You just see the difference. This looks more clean, more, more 4K. This is the original one. Just looks a bit blurry. With the scale up, it just looks a little cleaner. Not much difference since this one, this video of the cat is 720 by 1280. It's just a slight difference in details. This looks a little clean. You can see the eye just looks a little sharper. It just took some off that blur away. This is the original one. Some of these lines don't look very sharp. They look a little blurry. This is with the scale up. It just makes a slight difference. On You can notice on this how some of those lines got a little darker. The lines just become a bit darker. Still a bit blurry, but it, the lines on the house is a little bit more noticeable. So that helps with the quality a bit. Okay, and that's just the scale up plugin. Using the scale up plugin, you will achieve these results in little to no time. These five second clips, it took about, it took five minutes to render each clip, roughly about four minutes and 30 seconds. So depending on your computer, and the length of the video, it could take longer. I'm going to also show you this other plugin. It's called Topaz Video Enhance. And this will give you much, much better results than Skill Up. Here is the layer. Here's the original video. So you can see it looks very blurry. And here's the one with the Topaz. It looks a lot sharper, cleaner. Look at this. This looks like it's 4K. The blur, it's gone. Look at the trees. Looks nice and sharp. This house is right here. Looks clean. These lines just look so sharp and straight. So definitely Topaz wins for this. Also we have the cat. This is the original video, which is 720 by 1280. And this is Topaz. You can just see the sharpness. The quality looks so much clean. It looks so much nice.
the eye looks so sharp compared to over here it looks a bit blurry this is the original one where it's 1080 this looks very blurry and one this is the topaz just looks so much clean you can see some of this detail here you can see some of this structure looks more sharp clean versus the original looks a little bit blurry the outside looks a lot sharper and nice But right here, this is the original video. So you can see the buildings in the background look a bit blurry and not too pronounced. Okay, this is the topaz. It's just completely sharp and it's just like very noticeable. Everything, the buildings here in the back. So definitely topaz. If you want to enhance your videos, Topaz is what you need if you want the best quality. Okay, with Ham, here's the original video. Here's the one with Topaz. And it's not very much of a difference, except that it just looks a bit more clear and sharp. Not as blurry. Some of the hair strands also look a bit more noticeable. So if you see here, it just it just looks a bit more clean and sharp. Some of the hair strands, and for this one also, you could just notice it right away. It just looks less blurry, and the letters look more clean and sharp. The black looks more bold, so definitely Topaz, it's the way to go. Using scale up in Topaz, there is a difference in price, which Topaz being more expensive definitely gives you better results. But if you just need normal scale up, scale up does a very good job as well. I use this to upscale this Dragon Ball video. You can just see the difference, the sharpness versus this. This looks a lot cleaner. You can just notice on his face, it just takes all that blur away and all the lines are more sharp. And it just makes the video more enjoyable. These are some of the ways I use Topaz so I could rotoscope and have cleaner alpha channels. Okay, well, these are some of the ways I've used these video upscale enhancers and they always end up giving me very good results. I hope this comparison was helpful and if it was let me know. If you enjoyed this type of content go ahead and subscribe.